Hello, my fellow achievements. As promised, I am here to bring you another anime review on Code Geass, Code Geass Episode 5. Now, this episode, quite the few plot twists. Like, straight up, a lot of plot twists. So, the pink-haired girl in this episode was a princess, which I'll, I'll go more into in a moment. We also have the, like, the, probably, like, Cornelia, I think that's her name is, that one princess girl that was pointing a gun at the officer at the end of this episode. She also gets her introduction with this episode, and then we have at the end of this episode with Suzaku actually going to school where Lelouch is going at. So I'm like, holy shit, just a lot of little plot twists, a lot of little things going on in this episode that just took me by surprise. I was like, holy shit. Now, the one thing about this episode that was kind of shocking was showing off how much Lelouch has been studying his power. Now, I'm not gonna go downright into specific specifics of his power, but from finding out what he was talking about, he pretty much lays down the groundwork that his power does have limitations, he's been experimenting with it, and he's still actually doing ongoing experimentations with his Geos power. That's exactly the name of Lelouch's power. We actually get an official name with this episode, which is kind of thankful. So now I understand the title drop, the title drop code Geos. So, right there, pretty cool. Anyways, on to the factor of this Geos power that Lelouch pretty much has at the moment. Pretty much, he is testing how long this power can technically work. Because he has this girl at school, he actually commanded her with his Geass power, saying like, every day I want you to come to this wall and I want you to scratch something on the wall, like leave a mark on this wall. And he's doing this to actually test and see how long his power can stay effect on a person. Because if his power can like, say, stay effect for years, he can easily go to the top forms of government and say, okay, listen to my command, don't fuck with me, I am your leader pretty much like that, you know, Lelouch could do that, and pretty much it would fuck everybody up, and he would become king of the world, pretty much, so, I wonder, I wonder if his power can only last maybe a couple days, can it last a week, can it last a month, can it last years, does it last forever, I mean, a lot of questions I have right now, but I mean, that is one thing that is really interesting, and I'm glad the main male character is actually trying to attempt stuff like this. It reminds me a lot of Light. It really does. It reminds me so much with how Light used to actually test his Death Note. If you remember, you know, Death Note, you know how Light was constantly testing his Death Note with different ways to kill people, pretty much, with his Death Note. Well, seeing how Lelouch is diving into his powers and trying to figure out how to use them... That right there reminds me so much of Light. Now, I've heard a bunch of achievements tell me that this series has a lot of similarities to Death Note. I've been told that Lelouch and Light are pretty similar characters, and honestly, I'm starting to see that, because Lelouch and Light, they, they both have these smiles. Oh my god, the right faces when it comes to their smiles, just similar, just straight up similar. But when it comes to the overall intelligence, I'm loving... I'm loving Lelouch. I really am. I love how his character is actually very intelligent. He's thinking about tactics. He's thinking about how to keep his life ordinary at the moment. He's figuring out about his goals and how long in the process he's actually been thinking about starting a rebellion against Britannia. And so to see this, I was just getting hyped up with this episode. It was a really hyped up episode because you could see these slight little build-up signs going on this episode for great revelations in the future, especially with the overall aspect of Suzuku actually being in the school with Lelouch. I'm like, oh shit, because I mean, what is going to happen when Suzuku actually realizes Lelouch is zero? Or someone realizes, I mean... What is going to be Lelouch's best friend's standpoint on the matter? I mean, we already technically saw a standpoint in the last episode, but I mean, I wonder what side he would truly pick when he finds out. I mean, will he choose his friend, or will he choose the country? That is a massive question, and that is one thing right now I'm on the, like, fence about. Like, what is going to really happen? I mean, Suzuku is like a wild card in this series. We don't know necessarily if he's going to become, like, another L, like, Death Note L. Like, he might be a person that's just going to be opposing our main male character, Lelouch, or he could join his side. We'll have to see with that. At the end of this episode, the introduction of this princess. Now, I think her name is Yuffie. I think that's her name. I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I got her name wrong, but I think her name is Yuffie. It's the pink-haired princess. Well, she is looking for her brother, or she's technically, she feels some form of sadness or tragedy from her brother. And when I heard that dialogue, I'm like, 
that's Lelouch. I mean, a couple episodes, like two or three episodes ago, we found out technically, you know, he's, you know, a descendant of the King of Britannia. He's one of the princes, stuff like that. And majority of his family actually believe he is dead. So it kind of plays into the factor with his sister, like the pink haired sister in this episode. It makes me think that she actually might have cared for Lelouch and she truly thinks he's dead. And so, I wonder what will happen, actually, if she finds out that Zero is Lelouch, too. That, a lot of questions I'm having right now with this episode. But also, with the ending conclusion of this episode, with that girl, like that princess girl, oh my god. First impressions of her, she's gonna die. She's straight up going to die. Like, her attitude and her personality at the end of this episode... Pointing a gun at one of her military officers and all that, like, where is Zero? Where is Zero? You can already tell she's not thinking. Like, just straight up, she is not thinking ahead with plans. When you're going up against someone like Lelouch that has intelligence, he thinks of tactics, he actually looked at a battlefield as if it was a chess match a couple episodes back, like the first episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's fucking dead. She, she's dead. Just straight up. So... I see her dying probably three or four episodes at the maximum. At the maximum. I'm willing to bet it. Now, there was some more product placement with this episode, I noticed once again. Right at the beginning, less than four minutes in, product placement. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what? Just so much Pizza Hut product placement. Like, what the hell is going on here? Like, seriously, did Code Geass sell itself off to Pizza Hut? Like, Pizza Hut! Well, we love your pizza, man. You just let us put your pizza inside of the anime, because we love you so much. I mean, did they make a deal with pizza or something? Like, what the fuck? So... Oh, yes, the green hair girl. The poison, supposedly, that technically turned out to be a top-secret project they gave, you know, Gios to Lelouch. She is starting to go to school now, and she also is technically alive. Now, necessarily, it wasn't, I don't think, specifically explained how she survived, but she is alive. And she is around Lelouch, keeping his secret, and that's going to be interesting. That is definitely going to cause some problems later down the road with Lelouch and his planning and stuff like that. Because, I mean, the only person at the moment that technically can fuck up Lelouch is that one girl in the mech from the first episode or second episode, when he actually first got his power, and you know how he used his eye power to control her, and then he let her go. Well, in this episode, she's starting to remember some scenes from that, you know... Part of the episode so that is going to lead into something very bad in the future as i stated like two reviews back she is definitely someone that's going to cause a major issue down the road because she technically got to see lelouch's face got to see some form of his power and he can't use his power against her any longer so that's not good so tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much you have a wonderful day or night depending on wherever you live and please be safe chibi out